Hi, this is Dave. I'm here with a tour of a Unitron Model 128. This is a 60 millimeter refractor and like all Unitrons it is a small version of artistic and engineering perfection from a bygone era. Let me explain to you why I love this particular scope. First of all, when I first got this scope, and this is the first Unitron, Unitron Equatorial that I owned, I was quite disappointed. I was familiar with the Unitron setting circles that are so beautiful, exquisite, and finely uh, engraved and so forth, and I, I was disappointed that I didn't have that. But I was delighted to have a Unitron Equatorial, even a small one, like a 60 millimeter. I have now come to appreciate this telescope more, because I know this telescope is older than some of the telescopes with uh, more bells and whistles. This is a, a little bit simpler. It doesn't have some of the features that uh, their later models had. So I am pretty confident that I can date this to the 1950s. I don't think it's any newer than that. But it's got all the basic features that a good Unitron Equatorial telescope will have. First of all, it's got the uh, superb optical tube assembly, the 60 millimeter f15. Great focuser here. Draw tube system. The finder is a Unitron, and this is fun. It's marked, and I'll show you a close-up of this in a few minutes. It's marked Unitron 6x-23.5 mm. In other words, it's a 6 by 23.5 millimeters. Now that is tiny, tiny little finder. But at this point the Unitron company was so proud of that that they put it right on there. They printed it right on there. Very big deal. This is a close-up of the Unitron finder on the Model 128. It's very rare and unusual for them to print this kind of information, this kind of specific information on a finder. I think this is the only one I've ever seen like this. Uh, sometimes they will have the Unitron brand on them, but never all the detailed information. So, it's uh, like all Unitron uh, equatorial mounts. It's got a slow motion. That's the slow motion in declination. The slow motion in right ascension is this. That's another thing that dates this telescope. Typically, they had uh, a way of at least attaching some sort of a remote kind of a cable. And this doesn't have such a device, so it's strictly that. That's how you would track. Another thing that dates this scope is this. This is called the latitude adjuster. The latitude adjuster on this scope, you can see, is quite a bit bigger. It's uh, more functional than a lot of the, actually, the newer ones. You can actually turn this and adjust it pretty successfully. On later models, they, had, they replaced this with a simple nut that was a bit more difficult. Of course, you don't adjust this very often. And the purpose for this would be to aim the telescope at the North Star, in the, the polar axis, at Polaris, or actually at the celestial pole, which is very near to Polaris. Any Unitron collector really likes to have all the boxes to contain the equipment that came with the scope. This is a fairly complete set. You can tell that this box has been damaged. That one is also slightly damaged. It's not uncommon, especially for the older scopes. Uh, for the boxes to have some damage. But it's very nice to have, this is a box that just contains the legs. This is a box for the telescope. The telescope boxes are usually very, very well made with finger joints. Matter of fact, they're always well made with finger joints and so forth. These boxes that contain the ancillary equipment are usually not that well made. But it's nice to have them. In this particular case, the box for the head, this is the equatorial head, is a simple box, but it's very nice. It has all the right stuff, even comes with a wrench. So this is a Unitar Model 128. I hope you've enjoyed my little tour.